Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of the end. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship the Pope, for Christ, our King. Come, let us worship and call up the very Christ himself, our King and our Lord. Come, let us worship and fall down before Him. Sick of the suffering, for captives and their salvation, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That they may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Deliberating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, Hail to most and Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Mm-hmm. 
let my prayer arise, my sadness incense, and let the lifting of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Bring my sword of prison that I may give things to thy name. Assessing victory over hell, O Christ. Since thou art free among the dead, loud is he in the cross. Raising with thy shuffle to Saturn, shades of death. O mighty Savior, who do life, I know life have mercy on us. The righteous will surround me, for thou wilt feel bound to be with me. Today Christ tramples on death, for he is risen, as he said. Let us all sing this song, for he has granted joy to the world. O light of approachable, O fountain of light, Savior of light, we have mercy on us. Out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Here shall we sinners be found be, for thou art in the creation. In heaven thou dwellest, in hell thou didst travel on death, in the depths of the sea, even by the sun of and falling before thee we pray, as thou dost fight to the dead, have mercy on us. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. In thy cross be glory, O Christ, we sing and glorify thy resurrection. For thou art our God, and we know no other than thee. If thou hortest mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee. Lord, taking the tumult of the world and picking up thy cross, O saint. Thou didst follow Christ without any thought of looking back. Thou goest to dwell in the wilderness, uprooting the passions of the soul, mortifying the feelings of the flesh. By frequent vigils and prayers, thou didst receive the grace to heal infirmities. O fellow converser with the angels and companion of the venerable ones, Pray to the Lord when the most searching and our sons may receive mercy. For thy name's sake I wait for thee, O Lord, my soul's waiting for thy word, my soul's hope on the Lord. Who can tell of thy labors and pain, O Holy Father? What all can speak of thy rigorous life, thy vigils and absence from food, thy sleeping upon the cold earth, thy purity of body and soul, thy complete silence of bliss and light, thy true humility and ceasing prayers and discerning judgment. The poverty of thine apparel, and thy never failing remembrance of death. Our holy Father, Sergius, pray for the salvation. 
of our souls. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. Holy Father, save us. Allow us to be to be a physician of our souls and bodies. A fount of healing for the sick. Open with the gift of prophecy, thou spokest future things. By thy prayer, O Saint, thou disarm the prince fighting for his fatherland. Against the ghost of barbarians, who fell struck like the people of Amalek. Who with the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquity. Oh, we serve his wise and God. God is to save the glory of the world, living in the wilderness and the hills. Blessed one thou dost know in place of the holy Trinity. By the strength thou didst raise up many holy churches, and build a fortress for the salvation of those living be ascetic life. Christ our God, who thou dost desire from thy youth well to be. In freedom, Holy Father, Sergius, to save our souls. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all people. Enduring the quarter to the things of the present, rejoicing in the promise for the future. Only says he is out to say to us. If we now strive unrewarded, we still have hope for eternal life. Our afflictions are grievous, but paradise is sweet. Our labors are painful, but our undertaking is everlasting. Therefore, do not be slothful, O people who fast. Let us endure but a little that we may be crowned with incorruption. By Christ our God, the Savior of our souls. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise the Lord. For his mercy is confirmed on us in the truth of the Lord and cares forever. Looking upon afflictions as pleasure, looking among the straight and narrow way. Most blessed Sergius, thou dost say to thy disciples, Do not fear the slothful of thousands, by which we may escape the fearful torments of hell. Let our hands be clasped in prayer that we may reach out to God. Let our feet be established to stand before Him in prayer. Let us not fear the corrupt of nature. Let us surrender ourselves dearly to the fight that we may be crowned with triumph by Christ our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. bless the almost, sorry. Thou hast kept the image of God within the heart. By fasting, thou hast set thy mind up a pernicious fashion. 
Shown to be the summit of those living here, ascetic life, a dweller of the wilderness, a dreamer of those who run the good race, a renowned example of virtue, O Sir Deus, our Father. Now in the heavens thou beholdest in all purity the God of grace on behalf of those who honor thee, faith and love. Now endeavor and to wait is of ages, amen. We will not bless thee, O most holy virgin. We will not see in thy most pure child buried. The only begotten Son shall time to see from the Father. But from me he was ineffably incarnate. God by nature he became man for our sake. Not divided from three persons and manifested to natures. In freedom of pure and all blessed lady. To have mercy on our souls. Wisdom, stand up, light. O glance and light of the Holy Glory, be in Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and the old light of evening, we praise the Father, Son, and Holy Time to worship the voices of praise, the Wisdom, <coughs> the Prokeman on the sixth stone, the Lord has become king, with beauty has he clothed himself. The Lord has become king, with beauty. Happy oh, with power and have good in himself. Oh, Lord, have become king with beauty. Happy for he hath made the world so sure that it shall never be moved. The Lord hath become king with beauty, hath he himself. Oh, this belongs to 
from Proverbs. Let us attend. The memory of the righteous is with praise, and the blessing of the Lord is upon his head. Blessed is the man who has found wisdom, and the mortal who has understanding. For it is better to purchase her than treasuries of gold and silver. She is more precious than precious stones, and all that is precious is worth unworthy of her. For length of days and years of life are in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and glory. Out of her mouth proceeds righteousness, and she bears law and mercy upon her tongue. Hear me, O child, for I will speak noble things. Blessed is the man who keeps my ways, for my ways are the ways of life, and in them is prepared favor from the Lord. Therefore I pray thee, and utter my voice to the sons of men, for I wisdom have dwelt with counsel and knowledge, and I have called upon understanding. Counsel and safety are mine, understanding and strength are mine. I love those who love me, and those seeking me shall find grace. Understand craftiness, O you who are simple, and imbibe knowledge, you who are untaught. Hear me again, for I will speak noble things. I will open my mouth, and from my lips shall come what is right. For my throat shall meditate truth, False lips are an abomination before me. All the words of my mouth are righteous, and there is nothing in them that is twisted or perverse. They are all straight to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. I shall instruct you in truth, so that your hope will be in the Lord, and you shall be filled with the Spirit. Wisdom. The reading from Proverbs. Let us attend. The memory of the righteous is with praise, and the blessing of the Lord is upon his head. Blessed is the man who has found wisdom, and the mortal who has understanding. For it is better to purchase her than treasuries of gold and silver. She is more precious than precious stones, and all that is precious is unworthy of her. For length of days and years of life are in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and glory. Out of her mouth proceeds righteousness, and she bears my mercy upon her tongue. Hear me, O child, for I will speak noble things. Blessed is the man who keeps my ways, for my ways are the ways of life, and in them is prepared favor from the Lord. Therefore I pray you, and utter my voice to the sons of men. For I am wisdom, have dealt with counsel and knowledge, and I have called upon understanding. Counsel and safety are mine, understanding and strength are mine. I love those who love me, and those seeking me shall find grace. Understand, after this, so the are merciful, and in Slips are an abomination before me. All the words of my mouth are righteousness. There is nothing in them that is twisted or perverse. They are all straight to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. I shall instruct you in the truth so that your hope will be in the Lord and you shall be filled with the Spirit. Wisdom. The reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. Let us attend. For the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace, for though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God has tested them and found them worthy of himself. 
Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. Like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect, and he watches over his holy ones. Let us sing with all our souls, all our mind, let us sing. sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, as we have, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, let me understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of thy hands. 
To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee is due glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our reading prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Let us ask the Lord, and it will Let us ask the Lord, and it will and peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, aimless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good event for the bread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant it, O Lord. Lady, they are almost never virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us put ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Lord, now unto the God and love us mankind, and unto thee to be sent out glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto we as a Upon thy servants and thine inheritance, for unto thee the fearful judge, he had lovest mankind. Have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks. Oh, we do not have to commit them to thy mercy, and will be confidently for thy salvation. For I will all thy children this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all the powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and from evil imagination. Blessed and glorified in thy kingdom. The Lord and the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of the Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty, he is destroying the gates of hell, breaking the chains of death. And there is resurrect the fallen in the faces of mighty God, O Lord, who did rise from the dead, glory to thee. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. Desiring to return us to paradise, Christ was nailed to the cross and placed in the tomb. The murmuring women sought him with tears crying, Who to us, O Savior? How less thou thing to be sent to death? What place can hold thy life bearing body? Come to us as thou didst promise. Take away our wailing and tears. Then the angel appeared to them. Stop thy lamentations. Who proclaim to the apostles, the Lord is risen, granting us purification and greater mercy. Holiness be 
visits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. Having been crucified as thou didst will, by thy burial thou didst capture death, O Christ, and rise on the third day as God in glory. Granting the world a living life and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We are the Osiris of Father, the instructor of a multitude of monks. We have indeed learned to walk rightly in thy footsteps. Thou art blessed for having paper for Christ. Thou didst announce the power of the enemy. Thou wast a converser with the angels and the companion of the dead, noble and righteous ones. Together with them, entreat the Lord and give it mercy to Souls. Now endeavor unto ages of ages, Amen. Unwedded virgin, thou didst ineffably conceive God in the flesh, O Father of God, most high, accept the Christ of thy servants, O blameless one. Grant building of transgressions to all. Receive our prayers and pray to save our souls. Lord, that let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. O my night, and see thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to light to the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people is right. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto age of salvation. in powers where I too, God's king has Mary stood by thy grave. Seek thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not he tempted by him. Thou didst come to the virgin granting life. O Lord, did rise from the dead. O Lord, The angelic powers were at thy tomb, the gods became as dead men. 
and loves mankind. Lord, the most blessed deacon, nurse, visible, Washington, America, Bible, of all America, and Canada. Lord, the most reverend Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas, and the South. This God protect me, land, visible authorities. The clergy and faithful of this holy temple and orthodox Christians. Reserve Lord for many years. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Christ. I'm often grateful for my background in theater, but one of the reasons, particularly this evening, with the windows open, you have to work a little harder to hit the back of the room. Because the acoustics are a little leaky tonight. Thank you all for coming. Last night we had the new Martyrs of Alaska, St. Sergius. I made the adjustment that we're sort of in the reverse of what they had to endure with the bitter colds of Alaska and Radomej. We, in our small way, and make the effort to come, to pray, and to be, as I was telling Reader Ben, a little uncomfortable. And this is one of the things that St. Sergius truly exemplified is the benefit, the reward of not being comfortable. And this is one of the reasons monasticism exists. <laughs> Christianity became comfortable. It was outlawed now and again during the first 300 years of Christianity, and then the great blessing of its legalization, and then its becoming the favored religion, that double-edged sword cut the other way as well. It became fashionable to be a Christian. It became easy. It even became expected. To be a Christian, it was good for your businesses. It was good for your social connections. And so everyone became a Christian. This is when confession became private. You never know who would be a Christian. And this is when the monastic fathers went out for the first time in the desert. And St. Sergius, in the wilderness of Russia, Continued this tradition, going out, placing himself willingly in hunger to train himself not to live for the pleasure of food, but for the demands of the belly. He sought solitude, loneliness, to not crave the approval of man, and also to face his own demons. Every monastic father wrote in one way or another some variation on the theme. You flee the desert and you think you're leaving behind all of your temptations. But you've still got yourself to deal with. Your own mess, your own wounds, your own garbage. And all of that's still there. And in fact, in many ways, it's augmented. So there he was, in his suffering. In the email bulletin earlier today, I mentioned how this even compounded. He was especially vulnerable to times of famine and times of drought. His monastery, which he founded, which today is the Trinity Lavra, one of the spiritual centers of Russia was threatened, its very existence was threatened, and on the verge of breaking apart the monster. The first case from hunger, the second case from thirst. And they had to pray in the midst of the hunger, and the thirst, and the anxiety, and the unresolved 
they have to push. And this isn't, by the way, simply a, an example of a spiritual feeling. Somebody who just white knuckle gripped it, gritted his teeth, and pushed through under his own power. This was very much about a life of surrender. So the one who had witnessed boy tonight, I, I, I heard and we all heard the, the reading of Proverbs. Hear me, O child, for I will speak noble things. Blessed is the man who keeps my ways, for my ways are the ways of life, and in them is their favor from the Lord. I love those who love me, and those seeking me shall find grace. St. Sergius did begin as a child, one who had great trouble reading and understanding his lessons in school. And at seven years of age, he received a blessing from a monk who opened his lips to read from the Holy Scriptures. And he began to read and read and read and read and read from the Holy Scriptures. <coughs> they became his constant companion. And then he lived that wisdom throughout all of his life, in season and out of season. So when we confront truly a broken air conditioner is the least of our worries, when we confront the furnace of our own sin, of our own soul, pressure over our own anxiety. Let us face it. Understanding that this confrontation is not what we go into alone. <clears throat> Let us do so as he did, surrendering to the will of God. I will trust you, O oh Lord, that I will go without these things of the world that are enticing me and pulling me and tempting me with temporary ease and relief. And I choose instead the difficult way of biting my tongue. I will choose the difficult way of becoming detached from these material things that I crave from my money that I give rather to the poor, from my words that I throw so often in anger, from my thoughts that stray so often into dark and carnal places. I set those things down, for truly you are the reward of those who seek you. Mother of God, St. Peter and St. John, they appeared to him in his life, promising that for his steadfastness, for his ability to continue to not to be up, that she would ever be the patroness over the Trinity Lava, that she would be its patroness. That he was sure at the end of his effort. And we remember through his prayers, through his example, that nothing that is sacrificed for Christ is ever in vain. No time, no evening, no prayer, nothing is in vain and nothing is forgotten. He watches over his holy ones, as we heard tonight. And the wisdom of Solomon. May we remember our good and loving God who watches over those who cling to him and never forgets his little ones. To him be all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thank you all. We'll have the Federation of the Cross. I can do it. Now, he is on in the hall. Get a drink of water, of course, you're welcome to. Uh, tomorrow morning, we will meet at 10 a.m. 
for defining the liturgy. Uh, I uh, will be a bit of a to say the confession is no problem at all. It's not feel rushed or anything of that nature. So the stays are what we do. But may God bless you all and grant you the peaceful and undisturbed evening. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God.